Now what I want to do is create a program where the turtles are going to randomly walk around the screen until they reach the edges. And if they reach the edges, then I want the program to stop. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, of course, we need to start by importing turtle and then creating our screen is going to be equal to turtle.screen and then we're going to say turtle is equal to turtle.turtle um, and then we're going to do it w exit on click okay so we have our setup ready and now what I'm going to do with my turtles I'm going to say turtle.forward50 and then I'm going to do a turtle.left turn and I'm going to do left turn 90. Okay. So now if I run this program, which I called random turtles, you'll see that he does this. Okay. Now what I want him to do right here on this turn is to randomly turn to the left or turn to the right. So how can you make that happen? Well, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Okay, we can add an if statement in here because now the turtle needs to make a decision. Do I turn left or do I turn right 90 degrees? Right? So it's like an if else. Now, what should be the condition on the if? Well, what we could do, there's different ways you could do it. You could say like turn is equal to random dot rand range, and you can make it a number from 0 to 2 and if we did that then we need to import random so that we can use the rand range function so I could say comma random okay now if I do random ra rand range on 0 to 2 that means that this number here that it's going to return is either going to be 0 or 1 right not including 2 so turn is going to be either equal to 0 or 1. So what I can do here is I can say, OK, if turn is equal to 0, then turn left. If it's not equal to 0, then turn right. Okay. And so now if I do that and I run it, you can see every time I run it, he's either going to turn left or he's going to turn right. So here he turned right. Here he turns right again. And here he turns. Ooh, we got a streak going on here. Whoa, four rights in a row. Okay, there he turns left. Okay, um, and I also want my turtle to be a turtle, so I'm going to do turtle dash. I don't know. It just makes me feel better, so I'm just going to do turtle dot turtle, and I'm going to do turtle dot uh, shape size. Uh, it makes me feel better as well when he's a little bit bigger. So there we go. I run it. Okay, there we go. Uh, ooh, maybe a little bit too big. Turtle shape dot one. Okay. Um, okay, so this is one way you could do it, right? But I want to show you a different way to do it. <coughs> now, um, actually, no, no, no. I want let, Let's go ahead and keep it the way that it is. And now we want this to happen over and over and over again. Okay, so what we could do is we could have a for loop and we could say for i in range and we could say like maybe 10 in here. And from there we could tab it in and oh, for i in range, right? So now we're using a, a loop and a branch to get the turtle to act randomly and walk randomly around our screen. Okay, but remember uh, the, co the purpose of this program was to have the turtle keep walking until he hits the edges. So what kind of loop do we want to use to get that done? Do we know how many iterations we need it to run? Or do we not know how many iterations we need it to run? So in this case, we don't know how many iterations we need it to run. So what we want to use is not a for loop, but a while loop. So I'll go ahead and get into that in the next video. But for now, let's go ahead and keep it a for loop. And what I want you to do is to have, instead of just one turtle on the screen making these erratic movements, I want you to have two turtles on the screen making these erratic movements. Right? And then I'll see you on the other side and we'll program that while loop.